Hello and welcome to Tibu's Investigative Card Making. My name is Teresa Bullman and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in beautiful East Tennessee. Now here's all my info. To get in contact, to order online, I'm my store is open 24-7, If especially when you go online. <laughs> I'm not up 24-7, but um, so here's all the info. I'll get my hands away so you can take a picture. Three, two, and one. Okay, that picture's going. Then we also have, it's supposed to say simple gumshoe card making because they are going to be simple cards. Very simple. Even though they're fun folds, they're very simple fun folds. Nothing fantastic, nothing fancy dancy, but you can turn them fancy dancy if you want to. I love this because my husband found a shoe with gum, <laughs> hence the word. Gumshoe. I was shooting for, um, you know, the detective type person who loves the Lord and is seeking, um, seeking the Bible. So anyway, let me take my hands away again, and you can take that information. This is Mondays at 6. I go live, and if you'd like to join, please let me know. Well, you don't have to let me know. Just jump on in with me and have a little fun. Because I'm not normal. <laughs> I've never been called normal. Mm -mm. No, no. Okay. Since Mondays are my gumshoe lives at 6 o'clock, I will not be doing a YouTube video for se per, per se. Per se? Okay. Um, actually, what's going to happen is my husband will upload, download, whatever it is that you have to do to get the video, this video, or not this one, the um, Facebook Live one, onto YouTube. And then you can watch the replay if you couldn't be there live. Alrighty then. Tonight, this is um, a kit I just got today. And... It's really, it's a kit, but not a kit. Does that make sense? It's in our kit collection. But to me, it's something you use every day. Or you will. Let me open up the box. Whee! That's a big box. This is called the Birthday Card Organizer Kit. Yippee! I have my little... This is what I use. And it has everybody's names in them and stuff and it ha and then off to the side I put their birth date and things like that but this is so much better because it has let me get everything out so you can see I'm jumping the gun I do that a lot first of all can we go over this yes we will okay inside is the instructions whoopee there they are and you have a ruler here, both in metric and inches. And then I wanted to explain something in case you didn't know, because there's no words. It's easy. There, these dark circles are the glue dots. And these little light things, um, they're like line, um, hexagons, I think. Yeah, they're hexagon. What's hexagons 10, ain't it? Whatever is six. Hexagons. Oh, hexagons are six. My husband just told me. <laughs> I knew that, but sometimes I forget. So, anyways, I'm hoping to get this video done before somebody decides to call me because I forgot to do something. Anyways, okay, here we go. Let me show you what's in the kit. There are, I already took this apart, these little... Um, Dumaflachis are for the cards, for one card. Goes all the way across, sorry. There we go. Okay, then you get dimensionals that are regular, and then you get these really pretty, oh my land sakes. These are really pretty, they're iridescent. Um, you can see them better on that, couldn't you? Can you? Let me look. I can't see. The thing is in the way. So there's that. These are really pretty. They're iridescent. They're beautiful. Oh my goodness. Makes me not want to use them. <laughs> Just kidding. 
There are 12 of these, I believe. I don't know. I'm sorry, there are six of these. Yeah, six. I can't count. And it doesn't tell you. <laughs> Here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing one. It's in here. But anyways, you get plenty. And these are uh, pull-outs or punch-outs. And see how the card it's using on this card. So there's six because there's six of each design. Okay, so you'll make a total of 12 cards. I like how they saved space and used the space. That's really cool. Okay, and then you get some sticky things. This one is French, Dutch, and German. German. I say that all the time because my husband's German. Um, and then it's also English. And here's some of the other languages right here. You get one of those. I said that already. You get beautiful envelopes. Here's some, um, um, yeah, that color. <laughs> and this color. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I want to say soft sea, not soft sea foam. Um, oh, come on. Somebody out there knows this color. Anyway, you get these. These are the days of the month. And I used up all my days of the month in English. And then there's January. Or, oh, look, there's a couple of them in English. But I'm sure that's for one of the languages. That's awesome sauce. I didn't notice that. Oh, we're going to go to Mars. <laughs> No, that was terrible, terrible. Okay, then you have um, your 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 labels that are. Let me show you on here. The happy birthday, yummy, and then that black one that I showed you goes right here. It's your day, happiest of birthday, and you've got two of. I think you get two of these. Yes, you get two of these. Then you get your another card. Oh, here's your card bases, which I am not putting one together because I'm cutting them. Because there's two, no one's going to see the back of this, and I want to use it for to, to, to create with it. So I want to make more cards out of it. So here's this one. This will be a layer. And I pondered this, but you know what? Connie Stewart, I watched one of her videos, and she uses an S, uh, eraser top, dicks it, it, dicks it, dips it in her black ink and makes these little itty bitty circles. So we could do the same thing on this side. Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, that's what I thought of when I, when I saw that, Connie's idea, and I'm gonna use it. Now here is, let's take this out of the way now, because we don't need it. It's going on the floor. Okay, this is the book. Let me get everything else out of the way, too. And I'm praying and believing I'm going to stand so I can see what you're seeing. Okay. Well, it's mighty big, so let me turn it. Okay, it's big. It's 8 by 10. Okay, and then, of course, it's spiral bound. You have... Oh, my gosh, I can't open it. Okay. Okay. Isn't that neat? You get a pocket right here. And originally, I put all my stuff in the pocket at first. Then you have January. I'm going to start going this way, okay? January. Sorry, it's crooked. It's a crooked month. <laughs> For me, it is. Okay, and you get a pocket here. Every one of these have a, has a pocket, okay? And I put all of the month in there. I must have not had month somebody uses um they didn't have enough coffee so i'm i'm hmm i'm wondering do i have oh you guys didn't see those so i'm sorry they were months they're just like the ones i'm doing right now okay everything is on there i had an idea i'm going to color my circles and my my month is june for my birthday so i am going to color these purple so either highland heather or gorgeous grape i don't know which one i love gorgeous grape because it's closest to my actual favorite color which is amethyst 
So that's that on that. Let me look, let's look at the cards and what coordinates with them, yes? Okay, I'm gonna set this aside down on the, in the box, down yonder. And okay, we're not messing with these because I love them. I am going to cut them, but what I did was I flipped this over. It gives you all everything that's in this kit, yes? And then all the, they call it components. Everything that is in here is in the kit, okay? So you get your glue dots, your dimensionals, all the stickers, all the tear aparts, the envelopes, and the, the um, card bases, and these beautiful um, sequins. Oh, my stars and goddess. They are gorgeous. They, they're happy birthday. I mean, they're birthday cards. They look like gum. <sighs> Don't get me started. Okay, so the coordinated Stampin' Up! colors are Basic Black, Evening Evergreen, Petal Pink, Sar Sahara Sand, and Soft Succulent. So what I did is I went and I got those colors out. And I cut bases of those. Let's get everything that we are not going to use. We use one of these. Yeah. And we're not going to use the envelopes because I'm going to use the our regular envelopes, mini, mini, me, median envelopes. Yes. I'm going to do that. Well, I'm not going to do this. I may use that. I am not going to use these yet. All I'm going to do is cut this in half, and then I'm going to cut it down to four by, f uh, well, maybe I'll use one right now. That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of it? Okay, so we'll use one of those. I don't have a pencil with an eraser on it, so I'm not going to do the other one. And we have these little guys. We'll ponder. I have, n I, I normally know what I'm going to do, but when I saw this, I said, oh my stars, you guys would probably love seeing this. So with these colors, I've got Sahara Sand. That looks like crumb cake. Um, uh, petal Pink, Basic Black, um, uh, Soft Succulent, and Evening Evergreen is the last one. Okay, so these are the ones that we get to use in all this. I just, oh my goodness. Mmm. This is lighter. It's not crumb cake, but it, it is lighter. It just looks like it to me. But um, anyway, I think I am going to start with, you know, my favorite color is, in this thing is the evening evergreen. That is just so pretty. I've never seen a color so pretty. Actually, I have. When I look outside and see the beauty that the Lord made is beautiful. Let's start with the Sahara Sand since we're, that's number one. And maybe we'll just go ahead and make um, this card. So, what did I do with the instructions? They're in high... Oh, I threw them over here, way over here. And we're going to... Ooh, I like this card. So, that's basically what I've got over here. So, I'm going to just... Take that, and I'm going to make it smaller because it's on a basic white. I'm going to put it on, ooh, Sahara Sand? No. Hmm, let me see. Let me take a gander. No, that, that it washes it out. So, how about black? Ooh, black makes everything stand out. I love black. Mm -mm. If you hear some splashing in the background, I'm in my dining area and I've been crafting out here every single day because I'm working on some um, cards that I've sold and I, I need a bigger space. And sometimes you just need to get out of your room, right? Right. I think you do. <laughs> so, okay, let's take my trimmer which everything is on top of. That's just wonderful. Pieces and everything. Forgive me, please. Okay, I know this isn't live, but it still feels like, oh, I need to show you something, and I'll show you after we make the card that we added, we meaning my husband. I, get, I gave him the idea 
and told him, I said, this is what I want for my, my, um, Tumafachi. <laughs> for my, uh, mm, good night. My card kit book. Okay, let's just call it that. So I'm putting the, the line at four and a quarter, right? Right. Four and a quarter. And I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. Actually, I wanted to cut it less. Um, but that's okay. Now, since you've already seen the card like this, I think I'm going to use this piece. So I'm going to cut it down to four. Oopsie. Okay. Four. Ay, ay, ay. By five and a quarter. Oh, I'm not throwing that piece away. I am not. I will use it, I'm sure. Oh, and I'm sure. Okay, so this is not a stamping card, so you will not have stamps with it. There is no ink that you're going to use, so you would use something different. And this is all just stick it on there. Now, if you want to do it the way that the, the instructions say, that's fine. I just like to add to it. So um, I pulled both of these out. I pulled only one. Okay. So where'd it go? Black. Here it is. Okay. So this is, I'm still trying to follow this one kind of, sort of, because, oh, you know what? I really do like that other one. I'm sorry. I changed my mind easily. <laughs> so I knew I was going to cut this anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut this at four. No, I'm not flighty. I'm just confused <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes I, I change my mind a lot. I do. I really, really do. And five and a quarter. Save this piece. I'm going to save the white one, too, because you never know when you need it. Could use it for something, I'm sure. Okay, so that's going to go on there like that, and it's got a bit of a border, so that's kind of nice. And then I am not propping it up. I am going to glue it down just like it did in the other in here. It's, uh, well, the beige thing is glued down. So I'm really, this isn't really a, a major alternative. I, I like the major alternatives, but this is just a simple one that's starting to give me other ideas. We'll do this on this one, and I'll, I'll make the other ideas and show you in my next video. Oops. Because I don't have a blog. Because if I started one, I'd be talking like crazy. And then you wouldn't even get the information you'd want, right? Right. Okay. Whoopsie. I always tell people, the Lord blessed me with the gift of gab. He did. Okay. Now on this one, it gave this. But I don't want to use the whole thing. I want to fake it, right? So I'm going to cut this. Let's see. I, I need the flowers. Right, I need this one. I need everything. This is really cool. It has everything you need for this particular one on one sheet. You don't have to go hunting for it. I like that. That makes me feel a little comfy. If I could get it off of there, that would be... I still have two sheets. Okay, well, I accidentally took two of them off. So... 
I'll accidentally do the rest of them that way. That way, um, they'll just stay together somehow. Okay, one last thing. Okay. All righty. I am going to cut this, and I'm terrible at cutting straight. I mean, matter of fact, I don't cut straight very well. So we see that it's a little bit over here and a little bit over here. So we really don't need a lot. And I'm going to cut it at one and a half. Will that work? I'm not really good in math. I'm matter of fact, I'm terrible in math. Horrible. Not the greatest. I don't, I no. My husband has to do all that. He taught me how to use this ruler. I mean the the um the whatchamacallit on this. And if I'm wrong, I will canazzle. Sanagel. We're just laying things on here just at the moment. Because I don't know how it's going to turn out. So, oops, since I haven't made it yet, this went like, oh, look, I'm right. One and a half works. Yes! I am so happy. I didn't put any grid paper down. That was intelligent. But this, this will, I will show you the layout here. And then I will stick it together later. I am basically, oopsie, I am basically following this card on the card layer. Just cheating a little, right? Because I want more. I have uh, just some other ideas that just popped in my head. Oh my goodness. And that is the card for this. Yes? Look at that. That looks really pretty. I like that. And it's basically the same thing. The only difference is it's black. I like that. And it's not really an alternative, but it is an alternative. You get what I'm saying? I didn't, I only took what was given to me and, and changed it. Excuse me. Oh, thank you for the blessings. And um, that's all I did. And then in the inside, you know that one that has the white and the couple little dots? I'm going to put that in there. It's not going to hurt because most of the dots are going to be gone when I cut it down. So that's the card. I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm going to show you what my husband designed for me. He's such a good guy. We're not using this for the, oh, and I'm also going to put the iridescence on there. So I'm going to set this aside, and I want to show you what we changed on the, um, on the, on, in the book. Oops, a daisy. Let me grab the book. So in the book, I'm going to set this down, there is, I mean, it's great because it has this, and you write down, it has the days of the month, right? And then you write the person's names, but there are times when you may have like a trillion people, not really that much, but um, you, you may have more than that. So... In the pink one that I showed you earlier, they have their address and all that good stuff. And sometimes off to, and off to the side of their name, I put their bird of bird of death, their bird of date of birth. Please forgive me. Oh my goodness. I have a bit of a high sugar level. That's I'm gonna use that excuse. <laughs> so my husband came up with this. And there are um six, I think he said. Per side. Okay, there's six per side. So, and I have a bunch here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the printers and I'm going to have them um, cut this, you know, 
cut it so that it can go into this. And they will be open. So for every month, there I printed enough for two because there's six and six. There's 12 on each side. I don't know that many people. So I would, they would cut this and then, or cut this to fit this and then with scissors, unless they can actually just do it, where this would attach. And so I'm really excited because then I'll have their address, I'll have their emails, their phone numbers, their cell numbers, everything. I'll have everything on here, their names, that's extremely important. I'll have their names and everything, and then I'll also have their date of birth. Now, I personally like the idea of putting their date of birth next to their name, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put their date of birth next to their name. And I've got a little, ex I've got a, well, not really a line. He has a line in between the address, name, address, f home. Oh, okay, he separated those. So there's a little bit of noting in there you can put, uh, even over here. So, yeah, I love this idea. It, it works really well. I'm hoping it'll work really well. I'm going to put transfer everybody in my pink book that has walked away because I don't see it at the moment. But anyways, the book that I just showed you earlier, um, it has, I'm still looking because I want to show it to you, but I can't. So anyways, at the beginning, you saw the vid, the um, the pink book. It had, It's just an address book is all it is. And then what, um, these are mostly people that are in my classes or that I've met through the through Stampin' Up. And their name, address, phone number, their um, and their birthdays are up at the top, so I know it, and then I've highlighted them. So I wouldn't forget, but I always forget. So this, to me, will be easier because I got everybody in January. Everybody, you know, will be in their, in their perspective month perspective respective not perspective see they'll be in their months and this is so much easier and then I can put the cards in here every month I can have a card for everybody that's in that month then I won't forget I can even put them in the envelope address them and I'm done that I like it's it's preparation when you prepare you're not in a rush. You're not pushing, you know, so hard to, and you're not getting confused and you're not getting depressed. You're not getting frustrated because, oh no, I forgot to give so-and-so their card or I do that almost every month now. I keep forgetting. So, um, this, I love this. I, I love this. This, um, the sheets, if you're interested, are 10, eight by 10, the same size as the sheets in here. And then he added, Come on, honey. How much inch is on the left? This side is how much? It's an inch and a half. So if you're interested, it's eight. He did it off of an eight and a half by 11, but then he, he did it in such a way that there's an inch and a half. So when they do do that, it's going to fit perfectly. So he's really good at this math stuff. I'm not. I'm the yeah, math wasn't important. I couldn't see the, I couldn't see the, the value of it. So anyway, um, I dropped my card down there and now it's not glued and so it's a mess. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational for you. I hope this was extremely um, informational for you. Um, I've heard some people mention that they wish they had an address, kind of like an address book or a name for everything and this would work um so yeah that's it here we go thank you so much for watching if you're into if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up that's a that shows me that you you really like the video and and it blesses me as well as if you care to um leave me a comment tell me what you thought and nice words nice Use your nice words. <laughs> also, um, there's a subscribe button next uh, above that or next to it. It's red. You can't miss it. And it's not gigantic. It's just red. If you tap or click on that, you will be, uh, you will see my videos or um, you won't be, ay, ay, ay.
Let me try that again. If you hit the subscribe button, this is not, you know, like fix it tape. <laughs> I don't, I don't fix anything. So anyway, so subscribe and tap on tap or click on the uh, bell and you will be notified when my videos come up. Thank you so much. I hope you understood all that because I didn't. <laughs> Have a very blessed evening. Bye-bye.